Starting tomorrow, you'll have new options when it comes to taking the bus. JTA is launching a new express bus service called the First Coast Flyer. The green line will run down Lem Turner Road from I-295 to the Rosa Parks Station downtown. And joining us this morning to outline all the benefits this new line offers you is JTA spokesperson Leon Ressler. Thanks so much for getting up yeah, with us thank early you so much for morning. having me today. All right, so tell us about the big benefits of, of this new line. This new line is great. I mean, not only do we have these beautiful green and blue branded buses, um, the First Coast Flyer, but we also have um, them coming every 10 minutes on peak times and 15 minutes and off peak. And then for late night and early and weekend, they'll come at regular scheduled times. And I think that the the frequency is so important because a lot of people probably shy away from the bus because they don't want to have to sit and wait for it. But now when you don't have an excuse when it's coming that Yeah, often. I mean, since we launched route optimization last year, we do have buses coming more frequently. But what's so great about this particular service is that it's going to have limited stops. So not only is it going to come every 10 minutes, but it's not going to have the number of stops that the regular service does when you get on the red and gray buses. And the Wi-Fi is definitely worth oh, talking about. Oh, free Wi-Fi. I mean, we are launching this with First Coast Flyer tomorrow. It's going to have complimentary Wi-Fi at the stations and on the buses so you can get on there and you can you know talk to your friends on social media or you can catch up on work and emails. It's going to be great. Well and it's nice too because you don't have to use your cellular data if you can get on yes. the Wi-Fi. Yes you can switch to that and, and keep that bill down. And I would imagine a lot of planning and research went into this. This is not not something that happened overnight. No, it's not. It's something that Mr. Ford, our CEO, he started working on three years ago when he joined the JTA. And um, under his leadership, we've been able to do some phenomenal initiatives. And this is just the next step in laying the groundwork for a regional transportation network. Yeah, well, it's, it's an exciting change. And uh, we'll have a lot of coverage about it. I'm Absolutely. sure it affects we are, so many people. We are launching at 4.05 a.m. The first bus rolls out. And at 4.30, it will be at Lim Turner and 295. So we you know, invite everybody to come on out and get hooked on the flyer tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And what do you find um, keeps people away from the bus? Does this, does this address um, some of the issues why people don't ride the bus? I think you know, a lot of people just maybe haven't tried you know, riding the bus um, or just you know, for whatever reason. Um, they you know, live in suburbia and people are hooked on their cars so they can go places. But, you know, the American Public Transportation Association, APTA, states that in a study that people can save close to $9,000 if they switch from, you know, driving and owning a car and insurance to riding a bus. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good point. Definitely. We heard it. And you can find more details about the new routes and the First Coast Flyer system on our website, newsforjax.com. Just search JTA. Leanne, th thanks so much for being oh, with us this morning. thanks for having me this morning.